as we prepare our hearts to receive Holy Communion. Remember that there is always God's grace and mercy there for us when we repent and turn back to Him. So let's just take a moment of silent reflection to ponder our own lives and to confess our sins that we might come to the Lord's table cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. Scripture tell us that Jesus Christ is perfect and through his death, burial and resurrection he's paid the debt of our sins which would forever keep us from the presence of God. He has done for us that which we cannot do for ourselves. The Lord Jesus Christ is our living hope. And while we all wait for his return, we have the opportunity to honour his request that we remember his sacrifice on the cross. Jesus asked us to do this. So that's what we're doing here this morning. We're remembering and honouring. Jesus wishes that we celebrate Holy Communion together as a church family. Let us remember that the Lord Jesus Christ, on the same night that he was betrayed, took the bread, and when he had given thanks, broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, Take and eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise after supper he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying, Drink all of this for this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So now, would you like to come forward and pick up uh, a piece of bread there and the cup? take the bread. This bread represents the body of Christ, the bread of life himself. Amen? Amen. Let's eat together. Let's now take the cup. The juice in this cup represents the blood of Christ that was shed for the forgiveness of our sins. This is the cup of salvation. Let's drink together. we have received these gifts of bread and juice it's like you've put your life into our hands and now we put our lives into yours and we're just so grateful 
So take us, Lord. Renew us. Remake us. What we have been is past. What we shall be through you still awaits us. So lead us on, Lord. Take us with you. Amen.